Jason Aldean is making his rounds in the media and on his most recent stop on Big D and Bubba. Jason let it all hang out as he shared his thoughts on the current social climate gripping our nation. And what sparked this conversation, as well as Jason Aldean's remarks, was when Big D and Bubba, during the conversation, brought up the idea that Toby Keith's song 35 Mile Per Hour Town back from 2015 was basically the same song as Try That in a Small Town. However, at the time of its release, Toby did not receive the same backlash as Jason did after he released Try That in a Small Town. Now, after this reference, Jason Aldean chimed in and spoke very candidly about his thoughts on the Try That in a Small Town backlash situation, as well as the current social climate in our country today. And of course, Jason Aldean tells it like it is, and he did not hold back. Jason replied and said, don't get me started on it. That's the thing. 10 years ago, a song like that would have been like, yeah, applaud it. It's just everybody is so easily triggered by everything these days. Whatever side, whatever side you're on, easily triggered. People are just so sensitive to everything now. And it's like you say anything and people just lose their minds. It's crazy. Aldine continued and added, all the stuff that happened with that song, you know, was definitely something that I didn't expect. I mean, I thought the song would start a conversation, which is what I hoped it would do, because I think anybody that looks at what's going on with our country in the last few years, you know, and really open-mindedly looks at it with some common sense, it's like, man, this is wild. This is really crazy. And you know, I am just not okay with that. It doesn't matter if you're left or right. I mean, right is right and wrong is wrong, period. I don't care. I mean, in my mind, that's how I look at it. Forget what side of the fence you stand on. People doing this, breaking in, stealing people's stuff, you know, spitting in cops' faces, all that. That stuff is wrong. I don't care how much you want to debate it with me. It's just wrong. Jason was then asked about his initial reaction to the backlash from Try That in a Small Town, where he added, I think for the first couple of days, you know, once it came out and everybody hit social media and got to have an opinion and talking about it on The View and all that kind of stuff, you know, already creating their narrative for what they think it is, there was a couple of days there where I was like, uh-oh. Now, laughing it off, Jason added, I always said, man, you know, when I do something like that, I feel like I'm on the right side of it. Maybe everybody doesn't, but I feel like the way I'm speaking, there is a lot of people out there that feel the same way I do that are just like scared to say anything because they may lose their job or they may do whatever. And so I think after a couple of days, you kind of started to see the tides turn a little bit. And it was like people going on there going, I don't get it. Like, I don't get what the big deal is about it. And I'm like, all right, here we go. If you want to hear it, understand it, and get it, you're going to. And if you don't want to get it and you want to draw some other conclusion because it makes you feel better about the way you think, then that's what you're going to do. And if that's the case, you're never going to see my point. So there's no point in me arguing with you. Now, in addition, Jason also explained why he chose to shoot the music video in front of the courthouse and explained that it was merely for convenience and that it is five minutes from his home. As always, guys, we would love to hear y'all's thoughts and opinions on this down below. And remember to be sure to catch Jason's brand new album, Highway Desperado, when it drops on November 3rd. And of course, the album will feature Try That in a Small Town. As always, guys, thank y'all for tuning in here at CountryCast. That will be all for today's video. Y'all stay country.